This video is just an example of a de-retrieval with an escape. Uh, this was in the World Cup right before the Brad Marchand goal to go up 3-2. So we'll play it in regular speed and then come back and break it down a little bit. So here you can see the shoulder check right here, shoulder check. Uh, peripheral vision you can usually see um, completely about like this. So anything that's happening within within that area can be picked up. So uh, you'll see as he goes down he makes a couple more shoulder checks. Right here you can see the using that vision. His vision is probably here and here with his eyes kind of pointed this way in this in this stoppage right here. Very easy to pick up that stick and what way that guy is going. In slow motion it doesn't do it justice but he's probably made his decision at this point as to what he's going to do with that puck. So as he continues forward you can just see that turn gets those skates turned right here that inside foot is the thing to concentrate on. You can see that inside foot already starting to turn right there. And he's just going to move across and step down on that inside foot. He still knows where this defender is coming in on him. He can feel that pressure. He knows that the stick is still on this side. The decision probably would have been different if that stick would have been on that side. He would have looked for a D to D or a different play, but as a defenseman when you're going back that's what you do with those shoulder checks you look for stick positioning body positioning of the person chasing you and make your decision from there so from here nice escape turn and crosses the hands that's one thing um, there's a little bit of you know people draw hard lines on never cross your hands or whatever but a defenseman making a forehand escape turn is a place to cross your hands. I mean, the fact Drew Doughty's doing it here, one of the best in the game, means that it's happening, so we have to be aware of it and teach it to young players. Uh, there's time and place to not cross your hands, but this is one of those where, uh, where it's, it has to happen. Comes out of it, avoids the check, has another defender coming in, nice chip pass up, and you'll see here too, this we have one, two, three guys below and it, as a defenseman you don't want to get it in your head that you have to beat three guys to get that puck up. Beat the first guy, make a good pass which is mainly what he did there. A lot of times a young player will get those bad habits of young hockey where they can go coast to coast and score but at the higher levels that doesn't translate very well. If you can have your defenseman thinking beat one guy with an escape or a move of some sort using deception and then move that puck up, they'll be much more successful going forward than trying to beat all three of these guys. But in this circumstance, you can see that there's three Russians low and getting that puck up led to an outnumbered situation going up the ice. Mind you, this guy does do a good job of uh, retreating, back checking and getting above the puck. He's back in the play, but anytime as a defenseman you can beat that many people with a pass, your forwards have a good opportunity to go up the ice with numbers.